Hi. Today, I'm going to try to produce an effect in Final Cut Pro that I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm going to call it Stutter Cam. Um, essentially, it's the effect you see in some horror movies uh, like Francis Ford Coppola's 1992 Dracula, where Dracula turns into a wolf and you get this first person camera kind of point of view and it has this stutter effect, uh, almost like a stop motion camera. Um, not sure how to do it, so today we're going to play in Final Cut Pro and see how it's done. So now that we've got our footage, let's go ahead and fire up Final Cut Pro and do some editing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a clip that I just recorded, and we're going to drag that onto our timeline in the project. Zoom in a little bit, and if we see here, we've got our footage. And what we're going to do is we are going to zoom in nice and close so we can have a little bit more precision in our cutting. And we are going to move our marker essentially at the 15 point. We'll hold down B to cut and then on the second marker. And we're going to repeat that pattern over and over. So the 115 mark and then the 2 second mark. And what that's going to give us is that's going to give us little little in-between cuts. Um, it's going to kind of have a pattern of big blocks and then small blocks and what we'll do is we will cut out all the little small blocks that we've made. Now that we've cut everything up into little pieces Let's go ahead and zoom out just a tad so we can kind of see more of our timeline. And if we scroll back over, we're going to cut these tiny little blocks just like this. And what this is going to do is it's going to kind of create a jerky motion because the video is no longer fluid, it's not continuous. We chopped it into pieces. Or at least, that's the hope. Okay, now that we've actually chopped that little those, those clips up, I'm going to I'm going to lower the volume on these. I don't need to hear my footsteps and the ambient noise. And just do that by grabbing the sound or the volume bar on each of the clips. Drag those down. I probably could have done this before chopping up the clips. It would have been a lot easier. But that wasn't so bad. So now, if we Play it, and actually, I'm going to chop this first clip and this second clip, and this one right here. There we go. We don't need to see my phone. So now, if we play it, yeah, we kind of get a jerky Dracula, the ring kind of movement. That's not too bad, but it could be better. So, to improve it, what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight all of these clips and I'm going to go up into uh, my, my time encoding options and I'm going to speed it up by four times. Zoom in just a little bit. Now let's play it and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's much better much better. That kind of gives us the jerky motion that I'm looking for. So now that I've done that, let's let's create a compound clip out of all this to make our lives a little easier. 
we can work with a single clip. We right click and we're going to say new compound clip. And I'm just going to name it compound clip. Now, this is all well and good as far as the general feel, but I want it to look more horror movie. So I have purchased uh, from Pixel Film Studios a set of LUTs called Horror. They have some really nice preset LUTs that give a great color to your, uh, to your clips and your films. So I'm going to drag this onto my compound clip, and that's going to load up the LUT. And over here we have a whole bunch of great options. I'm going to choose one called Full Moon. I think that's got a really cool look to it. And as you can see, it kind of gives it this dark blue, um, really dark, edgy look to it. And to give it an even more interesting effect, I'm going to increase the film grain amount and mix that in. Yeah, see, that looks pretty cool. Well, that actually turned out pretty good. Hopefully that someone finds that useful, and I hope you enjoyed.